Hey everyone, it's Jamie. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing because I would love to have you. So today's video is a code orange Halloween decor haul and it is from multiple stores. I went to Home Goods, um, Michaels, and the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you guys what I found. Now, the first things that I found were at Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree is in my area. I am in southwest part of Missouri near Springfield. Um, the Dollar Trees around here really haven't put out any Halloween decor yet. They have trickled in a little bit in some of the stores, but it's not been full-blown Halloween yet. So I figure probably after this weekend, which I think is the tax-free holiday weekend, um, they'll probably start putting out Halloween decor. So I was lucky enough though to find these two things and I will tell you that I do have one store that I know of um, near me that is a Dollar Tree Plus. So these are from the Dollar Tree Plus section. But they are so stinking cute. I couldn't pass them up. I had to get them. So I don't know if they have any more like with different designs or different figurines or not, but these are the two that I found. So these are the Halloween Village six piece set. Um, I did grab one of each of these. They are $5, but I thought these were so stinking cute. Um, I'm not sure, like I said, if they have any other um, Halloween themed um, village sets. If they do, let me know down in the comments, but these were the only two that were at my store, so I went ahead and grabbed them. Um, I think I'm going to be using these for my tiered tray, but if you had like um, a spooky village or whatever, these would be really, really cute in that spooky village. Like I think Michael's sells, I think it's um, Spooky Town or something village, which I think is they're all so cute, but the prices are ridiculous. So um, anyway, I'm just going to be using these for my tier tray. But I thought I would go ahead and take these out of the boxes so that you guys can see um, what you get. Now you do get six figurines in each little box. So um, this one is the one with the little ghost. I'll show you again. With the little ghosties and stuff in there. So I think it'd be better to see or easier to see without the glare if I just go ahead and take them out. So um, you hit, get the large ghost. Ah, this is so cute. It looks like he's in a cemetery or something because there's a tombstone and everything there. So that's really cute. So you get that. You also will get this little tombstone that says R.I.P. You also get this little tree, this little spooky tree. It's got a kitty cat there, a skull. So that's really cute. You also get a smaller little ghost figurine. A welcome sign with a raven on top. And then the last little figurine in this one is like a little fence or gate with a black cat and the little brooms, a pumpkin. So cute. So that is in that one. And then in the other one, these are so stinking cute. I really hope they do have um, some more to choose from because these are just, they're just too cute. <laughs> so this is like the um, witchy themed one. So, which I think this one's probably my favorite. So you get the figurine of the witch. So cute. And there is what it looks like from behind. You get a, another sort of creepy tree with the kitty cat. You get this one that says, welcome Halloween. This one's really cute. Got little witch boots, the witch hat. Cute. You also get a cauldron. And let's see if I can get this out of here. 
Um, this is really cute. It says witch on it, on the little arrow sign on the little witch's broom. And then the last little figurine is a little black cat with a witch hat on, which is just the cutest. I would love to have a black cat with green eyes, but I'm not sure if my husband would, <laughs> would let me have one. Um, and I am a little bit allergic to cats, so I don't know. I had cats when I was growing up, but and I don't ever remember being allergic to them. But as I've gotten older, I do notice if I'm around a lot of cats, I will start sneezing and having red itchy eyes. So I don't know if it's a good idea if I get a cat or not. But anyway, I thought those were so stinking cute. And like I said, I'm going to use them in my tiered tray. I think I'm just going to make my tiered tray up kind of like a little haunted spooky village. Um, I just don't have all the big fancy spooky haunted houses and stuff. So um, anyway, I thought those would be really cute. Okay, so now I'm going to move on and show you guys what I found at Michael's. Okay, so I went into Michael's and the day that I went in there, they were just starting to put out their Halloween decor. So um, they didn't have everything out, but I was only going there for one thing in particular that I just really, really wanted. And I was so happy to find it. They only had two left, but I did to go ahead and grab one. But um, they also had this, and I seen this last year, almost got it, but then I didn't, and then I wished I had it. So I'm glad that they brought this back this year, so I went ahead and grabbed it. But it is, <laughs> I hope you guys aren't creeped out by bats, but <laughs> this is a really cute little, I don't know if it's resin or ceramic hanging bat. It's pretty heavy. And then there is the back side of him. And he is on this little jute cord here to hang. Now this was $14.99. Um, so I know that the Halloween stuff isn't on sale yet, but I did use a 20% off Michael's coupon. I believe it was 20% off a regular priced item. So I was able to use that 20% off. So I think that whenever everything goes on the 40% sale, then that's probably when I'll go back because there are a couple more things that I want, but I really don't want to pay the prices that they're asking right now. So hopefully whenever they go on sale, there's some left. But anyway, I went ahead and grabbed him since I knew last year I wanted him, didn't get him, and wished I had. So I went ahead and got him this year. So I got that, and then the only other thing that I got from Michael's is the main reason why I went in there, and it was because of this. You guys, I just love this to pieces. This is like a witch painting. Um, it's on like a stretched canvas, and it does light up, which I don't think that you guys are going to be able to see it. No, you can't can't see it from here, but I will make sure to put a picture um, down after the end of this video so that you guys can see what it looks like when it's all lit up. But um, they had one similar to this last year that I really wanted and I didn't get it. So now I'm kicking myself and wish that I had. Um, the one from last year I think had like blue tinted lights or something and then it had um, the same sort of silhouette of the witch and I believe there was a, a big full moon up in the sky. But, um, so anyway, this year they have this one where she is like a silhouette and then she's got these ravens flying all around her. Um, if you look really close, you can see her dress is sort of a green, emerald green color, which I think is just beautiful. So I just love this. And from my understanding, they are, Michaels is doing a series of these every year um, to represent the four elements. So I'm not sure if this one represents fire um, or not because whenever you turn the lights on it is sort of a red glow so um, it might be it might be where it's representing fire and then I think the first one from last year I think that one may be representing water um, I'm not 100% sure if you know let me know down in the comments because I think when on um, the one from last year I think the lights on it are sort of a blue color I think um, I could be wrong but, and I know if you guys are into Halloween and you know who Jade the Libra is, then you probably are a part of her Facebook group, um, Halloween Forever. 
I love that group. I am constantly on there scrolling and looking at everything that everybody is posting. And so I just love that group. So anyway, um, there was a girl on there that she had purchased this and she was wondering about the four elements and she, if it was going to be a line or whatever. So um, she did post, I believe that she talked to Michael's and someone at Michael's did let her know that yes, there is a it is a the four elements represent representing the four elements or whatever. So each year they will put out a new um, picture of a witch, I guess. So anyway, that's pretty exciting. So I can't wait to see what next year's is going to be. Hopefully, maybe I can find the one from last year, but who knows? <laughs> who knows? So anyway, I was happy to get this. So I am going to be hanging this in my bedroom. Um, if you guys watched my last Halloween decor haul, um, I think I might have mentioned that I'm going to be changing up my bedroom and giving it sort of like a witchy cottage core kind of, I don't know, aesthetic. So um, anyway, so I'll be hanging this up in my room probably for all year round. So there is that. So next I'm going to move on and show you guys what I found at Home Goods. Okay, so I went to Home Goods, and the first time I went to Home Goods, which if you guys watched my previous um, Code Orange Halloween decor hunting video that I did, I had went to Home Goods, and that first time that I went to Home Goods, there was so much Halloween decor, it was crazy. Um, the second time that I went, it was almost completely gone. So I don't know if, I mean, surely they're probably going to, be trickling in some more Halloween but I'm hoping that that wasn't just the you know they brought it all out at once and then that's it I hope not because it's still a little ways until Halloween so and I would still like to find a few more items but um, as I said uh, just a little bit ago that I am going to be doing my bedroom redoing it I found this pillow so I got this for my bedroom this is just to keep out all year but um, I think it's so pretty so it says magic down on the bottom and it's sort of like this crystal ball with this all seeing eye or the evil eye or what I'm not really sure what you want to call it but um, I think this is really nice it is like feather or down feathers in there um, this is a Ray Dunn um, pillow and it was $19.99 so I thought this was really nice. The material is sort of like a linen type material. Um, so yeah, I thought this was really nice. I'm hoping I can find some more sort of um, to kind of go along with this whole sort of theme or whatever. But I think this is really nice. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Okay, so the next thing that I grabbed are these tarot card deck. Um, okay. I have never had tarot cards before. I really don't know anything about tarot cards. I've never had anybody do a tarot card reading on me, <laughs> nothing like that. But I thought these were so pretty. I don't. I was just drawn to them. Um, I love the packaging. I think it is so pretty with the navy blue and then the gold. I think it's just really, really pretty. So I did go ahead and grab it. So they were $5.99. And you do get 78 cards in here. So, like I said, I was drawn to this. I love anything that has, like, moons, stars, anything like that. I just love it. So, um, I did go ahead and grab it. But I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you guys what it looks like. Well, these are pretty. Okay, so it does come with um, a little... How to use these cards <laughs> instruction manual which I'll have to read because I have no idea if anybody knows anything about tarot let me know down in the comments because I don't know anything so um, and this is really pretty so the cards do look like the outside of the box which is really really pretty and then this is the tarot font so those are really pretty. So there, are, it's got the navy blue background with the gold. That is so pretty. This one is the emperor. Now I won't show you every single one of these, but um, I thought I'd show you a couple. 
the Empress, the High Priestess, the Magician. So yeah, now these are really these are really cool. So like I said, I don't know anything about tarot. I'm gonna have to do some research on it or learn about it or something. I'm sure there's YouTube videos out there about it. Um, and I'm also wanting to get into more of like um, crystals and things. I do know just a teeny tiny bit about crystals, but I don't know everything about them. So I would like to learn more about crystals and what types of crystals, what they're used for, you know, things like that. So anyway, if you guys know anything about crystals, let me know down in the comments. Okay, so the next thing that I got from Home Goods are these kitchen towels. I think these are so pretty. You get two in a pack. These are the Cuisinart brand, 100% um, cotton, and they were $5.99. This says the Old Salem Broom Company. I love that print. And it is like that on both sides, so the front and the back. And these are super duper soft. Um, Home Goods had quite a few kitchen towels. Um, I loved all of them. I It was so hard to decide which one that I wanted the most. So I went ahead and picked this one, but they have a ton to choose from. So I was really happy with these. Okay, so the next thing that I got from Home Goods is this really cute Ray Dunn coffee mug with the witch leg topper. Um, I think this is so cute. It says, more booze, please. Now, I was really looking for the one that had the black mug. I believe it does have the witch leg topper, or it may even have a witch hat topper. Um, but I think it says boo or witch or spooky or hocus pocus or something. I'm not really sure what it says. I just know that it's black and it has like a little witch's hat on it. But I couldn't find it. So um, I did find this one, and I think it's really cute. Now, this was $14.99. Now, I know not everybody is, you know, crazy about Ray Dunn. Um, it's not real. I'm not that crazy about it either. But there is something about her Halloween items that she has that they're just so stinking cute. Um, so I would really like to have the, I think it's the Witch's Cauldron. I think it may be like a cookie jar or something. But um, I was looking for that and couldn't find it. But I did find this. So I think this is super duper cute. And I was happy to get it. Okay, so the next thing that I found at Home Goods is this witch. I think she's so cute. She's standing here with her little familiar, which is the frog, stirring her cauldron. Look at her. Look at her little face. She's so cute. She got her leg all kicked out there and everything. <laughs> This is so cute. So I went ahead and grabbed this. Now this was $14.99. I think this is probably, I don't know, it's got to be over 12 inches, I'm sure. It's probably more like, I don't know, maybe 18 inches tall. It's pretty big. It's a pretty good size. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but she's a pretty good size. So um, I thought she was super duper cute, so I went ahead and picked her up. Okay, so the last thing that I picked up from Home Goods is this table runner. This is the Nicole Miller Home Table Runner. Um, it was $16.99. And would you guys just look at this? Look how beautiful. It's so pretty. Look at the haunted house. It's got a whole haunted house situation there. <laughs> And this is hard to show. Uh, so cool. I just think this is so cool. So I have a table runner from a couple years ago that I got. And it's black and white, buffalo checked. And then on the end, it has little witch feet dangling off of the ends of the table runner. Which I think is really cute. But this year, I'm trying to go for less cutesy and more, I don't know sophisticated is that even a thing Halloween sophisticated I don't know more grown up but anyway so I thought I'd grab this I think this is so pretty so this is like a I don't know like a linen 
or maybe like a muslin type material. Um, but if you look really close, there is some beading and that one has, I think the beading might have fell off of that end. But anyway, there's beading around like the bats, even the um, haunted house. There is beading like around the trim of the house and the windows. So I think this is just so pretty. I love the moon. It's gorgeous. So yeah, I was happy to find this. Okay guys, so that is the end of my haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything in particular that you're looking for this year for Halloween. Um, my list is a mile long of what I want. So, um, but it's a lot longer and um, yeah, I don't have the kind of funds for that to support that, but anyway. Um, I can't wait till Spirit Halloween opens because I'm excited to see what kinds of new things they're going to have this year. So, yeah. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I would love to have you. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you all later.